Should I flip the camera off? That's a classic. Fuckers. How's that? <laughs> Tacoma is a working class town. People wear Carhartt, they're fat and they're ugly. And these are my people, because this is where I grew up. And when I first started out, I tried to be a corporate designer. I wore a little suit and tie. I started seeing punk posters showing these ugly people making ugly sounds. That's what I wanted to do. I had a really bad family. It was full of stress and trauma. I grew up very isolated. Becoming part of a subculture was a place to fit in. This was the kiosk for Seattle underground culture. Sub Pop Records began as a review column. Nirvana, Soundgarden, picked up band members from our classifieds. I learned to think really fast. I learned to make design decisions instinctively. I'd figure out ways to manipulate the process, and we learned how to use bad printing to our advantage. While I was art director there, I was training my own competition very intentionally. Because when I had competition working in my style, all of a sudden my style wasn't unusual. Then I could get hired. That actually worked extremely well until the vultures came in and they want that grunge look. Who do we talk to? Oh, talk to Chantry over there. He's the grunge guy. And they go, who's that old guy? We want that young hip look. And they'd hire my assistant. <laughs> I saw all these people, myself included, helping other people become hugely successful financially and then being left behind in the dust with nothing. I saw a lot of my friends die. I saw a lot of my friends get rich. I couldn't make a living working at the Rocket. I ended up doing a lot of work for all these corporate guys. And I was miserable and I was working way hard. Just everything went to hell all at once. I realized the ship had sailed and I had to get out. One of the ways I dealt with that was basically I had to make a pact with myself that I wasn't going to work with assholes just because I wanted their money. I was only going to take jobs that I was interested in or if I thought it was important for mankind. And money, that was the very last thing I considered. And a funny thing happened, I started to really enjoy my work again. I use whatever I need to make the project successful. Transfer lettering, rapidograph pens, knives, guns, rubber bands. Happy face people. You cannot do this on a computer. It's salvaging an era, like an archaeologist would. I actually changed this regional style. When the music took off, that style went with it. And all of a sudden, the whole world was working with my ideas. It was a spectacular thing to witness. Sure, I didn't make millions of fucking dollars. I could have done something else and done that. <laughs>